I thought we agreed no more mischief in public. What's gotten into you? I'm terribly sorry. Did Marlow frighten you? No, not at all. Quite the opposite. He's a lively one. Very healthy and energetic. Um, hello? Y yes, sorry. It's just, I couldn't help but notice. Oh. Well, yes. I didn't realize I'd made a name for myself around Hogsmeade. Do I know you? Oh. Hey. No, no, no problem. I was just... I mean... Actually, she didn't tell me her name. Let's try this again. Uh, who are you? My name is Glenna Golding. I'm your aunt. I'm sorry. Uh, this just comes as quite a shock. Are you sure we're related? No one ever mentioned I had a magical aunt. Technically, I'm your great aunt. On your mother's side, through your grandmother. Wow, that's... A lot to take in. I honestly thought I was the only magical person in the family. I can't believe no one ever told me. Ah. They probably don't know. I only discovered the truth because I saw your photo in the Daily Prophet. You look remarkably like Tiburon, my father, in his school days. Uh. The photo got me curious, so I did a little digging. I used to work at the Ministry and still have a few friends in records. Oh no, it's not what you think. I wasn't stalking you or anything. I'd written a letter but never expected to run into you like this. Suppose I have Marlowe to thank for that. Congratulations, by the way, on winning the tournament. Very impressive. Hooray for Hogwarts! Thanks. Well, all this talking has left me quite parched. Time for some butterbeer. My treat. Be right back. Mm. Mm hmm. Ah. Mm hmm. Um. Uh. I trust her. I'm not sure why. She just seems so friendly and familiar in a family kind of way. Oh, here we are. So, you must have questions. A lot, actually. Let's see. Ah. <laughs> A lot, actually. Let's see. Ah. <clears throat> A lot, actually. Ah. Ah. <sighs> ah. Would you like to come by my home? I live just down the street. Right now. Okay, uh, that'd be lovely. Wonderful! Everyone's invited, of course. Uh-oh. Uh... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.
I must have walked past this house a dozen times. Never imagined a relative was living inside. Well, the world is a funny place, isn't it? Come on in! Oh, a ghost! Hmm... This the one you think looks like my grandson? I don't see it. That was your great-great-great-great-great-grandfather, Morven Merriweather. I have a ghost relative? Wicked! Yes, well... He's something. Now come on, I'll show you around. It's not much, but it's home, and has been for five generations of Merryweathers, and now two Goldings. Sorry about that, it gets a bit messy in the kitchen. No house elves here, and I really should re-enchant this broom. You should see our dormitory. It's always a mess. Oh, don't tell the house elves I said that. Oh, hello. Uh, Marlowe, isn't it? That's right. If he likes you, that means you're family. Marlowe. That's an interesting name. Named after Philip Marlowe, the private eye. I love old muggle detective novels. The Long Goodbye is one of my favourites. Really? Even though there's no magic in them? <laughs> yes, and thank Merlin for that. Do you know how boring those stories would be if the heroes all had ones? If Sherlock Holmes or Hercule Poirot had legilimency, there wouldn't be any investigations at all. I suppose. Is that what you did at the Ministry? Investigate crimes? Haha. <laughs> no, no. Nothing so dramatic. I worked in the Department of Magical Accidents and Catastrophes. Would you like to see a sample of my work? Let's see. Ah, here we go. Neighbor finds loose digits in garden after unfortunate hedge trimming accident. Digits? My cover story for a bad bit of splinching. I wanted to plant a story about a serial killer on the loose, but my boss shot it down. I said it would cause more panic than leaving it unexplained. Probably for the best, though. Muggles see trimming accident in the paper and won't give it a second thought. Yes, probably. Do you still work at the Ministry? No, not for a while. I took a leave of absence and never went back. Needed a change after my husband Shane died. Oh, no, I I'm so sorry. Oh, is this his portrait? Ah, oh, yes it is. Off again on one of his adventures. I swear his portrait travels more than we ever did in life. Well then, I'll look forward to meeting him when he returns. Blasted strings! Always getting tangled! Where did I leave that string box? Ah! Blasted strings! Mom, have you seen my... Oh, you've got company. Niall is quite talented. He's going to put on a show for the whole village. You should see his dolls in action. Show them, Niall. This is amazing. Right, sure. Hello. It's a pleasure to meet you, Niall. Is that a puppet? I haven't seen one of those in ages. It's a marionette, if you must know. Niall is quite talented. He's going to put on a show for the whole village. You should see his dolls in action. Show them, Niall. This is amazing. They're puppets, Mum, and there's not going to be a show if I can't get the strings untangled. Oh, sorry. Maybe I can help. No, Mum. I can do it myself. It's not a big deal, Niall. I said I can do it! Myself! 
Fine, fine. I really don't see what a big deal is. I'm sure once everyone sees how talented you are, no one will care that you're a squib. Niall, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. Please, don't be upset. Mum, I can't believe you. I'm sorry. That's not the introduction to the family I'd hoped for. It's all right. I understand all families have their... challenges. Yes, they do. Well, it's getting late. You should probably get back school. I should, but I still have so many questions. Would it be all right if I visited again? Before the holiday, perhaps? Please do. I'd be very happy to see you again. Thank you for finding me. I can't wait to get to know you better. Thank you. Next time you come by, I'll let you in on some deep, dark family secrets. I know, Marlowe. I'll tell them, I promise, when they're ready to hear it. That's the same entrance Abigail used to get to the Shrieking Shack. Why is Niall going there? I want a wand more powerful than any in existence! A wand worthy of one who has conquered death! As you wish. Ah. Bloody hell, stupid puppets! Uh, don't you mean marionettes? Here, let me help you. Thanks. I enjoyed the show. <laughs> You'll be the only one. Don't say that. I'm sure everyone's going to love it. Not likely. They'll be expecting something magical, and when it's not, they'll just get bored. I think people are going to appreciate your skill, which is magical in its own way. I doubt it. Not in a traditional village like Hogsmeade. Most people around here don't think that way. They just see the strings and laugh when everything invariably goes wrong. It's just a puppet, right? What's so special about that? Would you like to see how it works? Yes, please. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more content, and we'll see you in the next episode.